Salaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about desktop experiences, specifically DeX running on the S22 Ultra or the Note 22 Ultra and Ready4 running on the Motorola Edge Plus 2022. Both of them are running Android 12 with their own desktop experiences and both of them have been offering us these desktop experiences for some time. The Edge Plus 2022 was just announced, the S22 Ultra was also just announced and available in early 2022. So these are the latest and greatest offerings from both Samsung and Motorola for desktop experiences. This is TK, let's see which one fits you best. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So today's video, I'm trying to keep it more of an apples to apples experience. So what we're focusing on is mobile devices, a device that fits in your pocket that you're able to get a desktop experience out of. So again, as I mentioned, the S22 or the Note 22 Ultra is going to be the latest and greatest running one UI from Samsung, Android 12, of course. And of course, ready for this is literally just announced from Motorola, the brand new Motorola Edge, well, Edge Plus 2022. So the main benefit here is that both of these devices are featuring the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Both of them are featuring 5G. Depending on the model you're able to get, you're also able to get ultra wideband in the markets that you're supported in. So the main benefit here is connectivity is not going to be an issue. There's not really, well, there's not really much of a comparison there. But let's start diving in into some of the capabilities that one system can do over the other. So I'm trying to keep them more of a head to head comparison. First and foremost, both of them support wired and wireless solutions, and it depends on the ecosystem that you're trying to use. For some of the examples, I'm actually going to share with you guys a little bit. This is something called the Next Dock. This is something that you've probably seen in some of my other videos. Now, I have done another comparison between EMUI, DeX, and of course, uh, LG's UI system some time ago utilizing the Next Dock. And this really is a laptop shell that enables us to actually plug in smartphones that have uh, desktop experiences, again, like a Samsung or a Motorola, or even EMUI if you have other devices like, you know, an Honor or a Huawei device. And it launches their desktop experience. And for the most part, your experience is pretty much focused on a laptop experience. So what that means essentially is there's no power, there's no CPU here. There, well, what I mean about it is there is a battery, but there's no horsepower. So you can also plug in an SD card and a headphone jack here because that also is a functional option here. So the, all of that runs through the USB-C connection to your smartphone. So first and foremost, do they both support wired connection for ready for index? And actually, that's actually a true statement. Yes, both of them do support it. And something like a next dock can definitely initiate both of them automatically. What I like about the difference between the two systems here is the implementation of the UI. Now, Samsung DeX automatically launches and you're able to get into it directly and use your smartphone as a touchpad. So you can definitely use that or use the touchpad and the key keyboard on the next dock. If you're using it with, let's say, a, a display that enables you to launch DeX, then this much is just basically a mouse pad and, of course, touch sensitivity on the display if that's supported. So those things are actually typical. We've seen DeX do this for many years, and I really like the options that we get there. Uh, one thing to mention, though, you do need to plug it in. There is no wireless solution in this example because this system is not a wireless option. Uh, now, you are able to connect to a TV, which does change the story a little bit, but we'll get into that in a second. What I like about the difference here between NextDock, uh, sorry, the uh, Ready4 and Samsung DeX is the UI element. For Samsung, once you plug it in, it takes you straight into the actual system and you need to use it as a laptop experience. So the desktop experience, you know, an app drawer, uh, notifications on the bottom right, you can see the signal, you can change the audio, you can use a whole bunch of different things. Pretty much a desktop experience of what Dex has been known for for years. I also love the fact that we have gesture support here that enables us to snap windows. So if you have the ability of using a touchpad, you can actually, you know, minimize, maximize, snap windows, move them right and left, and then use a shortcut key or basically almost like a window key and the directional pad to be able to move a window to wherever you want. This again is a staple of what Dex is known for. And this is one of the th reasons why we all love it. Uh, we have the ability of resizing windows, opening multiple windows, all of the things that we normally see. Now, when we switch over to the ready for, this is where it gets a little bit different. Right away, when you plug in your smartphone, you notice that there is a UI greeting you, telling you what would you like to do. And there are four options in front of us. You can use desktop mode, which is the ready for desktop mode. You can use it to watch videos. You can use it to play games. You can also use it to directly mirror your phone onto, this, onto the system that we're using. So be it a display or let's say a next stock of something like that. Now, one of the options that we get here that is very similar to DeX is the ability of snapping windows, although not as gesture supportive. There's no gesture support here at all, but you're able to open up. You have access to your entire app drawer, similar to DeX. You're also able to open up multiple windows, resize them, snap them in different position. Although, again, not gesture supported, but more mouse supported. 
Uh, one of the other things that I liked about it is if let's say you just don't want to do that anymore and you want to be able to do something else, let's say watch content, uh, it does have a UI element which switches you over to your video applications like YouTube, uh, Disney Plus and so on. And there's also an option to be able to play games. One thing I will say though, if you are going to play games from DeX or even from, uh, you know, ready for, you do need to have some type of controller. DeX, the next stock does have some support there, although I feel like touch sensitivity and that's going to be the best situation. So I, in playing games, my recommendation is to mirror the display on your phone directly into those ecosystems. So you can pretty much can use your phone as a controller and then of course a bigger display to get enjoy games there as I'm showing you guys right now. So I guess between those two systems, if we have to kind of put a comparison between the two, they're pretty comparable where Samsung has better gestures and slightly better configuration as far as UI elements, similar to what we see on a Windows PC. Um, I feel like Ready4 is pretty much there with the, maybe a little bit of an edge on the fact that it organizes things a little bit better. On Samsung, you have to figure out what to do. You have to go in there and start looking for things to figure out where things are. On Ready4, if you're looking just to watch content, this is just going to do that for you right away. It opens it up and it makes it simple. If you want to play games, same thing. And if you want to be able to just mirror your phone and play games using your phone, that's pretty much a straightforward experience. Samsung does allow us to do that because of screen mirroring. So you can just jump out of decks out of, uh, on your phone and it automatically becomes just a screen mirroring. By default, that's the standard mode that Samsung has. So again, they're very neck and neck in there and they both need to be wired to some to this type of solution. Let's switch over a little bit more to about wireless solution. Let's say connecting it to a TV. You're, in the, you're, you're just coming back from work, from school. You want to relax and you want to be able to link up your phone to the TV and enjoy that entire content experience. Now we'll start off again with DeX. Uh, DeX does support wireless connectivity. The main requirement here is both the TV and the phone to be on the same Wi-Fi connection as that's how they're connecting to each other. Uh, and it's pretty much straightforward. You're able to turn on DeX. You can also even mirror your display. Uh, and all of the functionalities I shared with you guys before, the ability of opening up apps and doing everything is done. The only difference here is that you're going to be a little bit, um, and this is something again that imp uh, impacts ready for. Because it's a wireless solution, sometimes your Wi-Fi connectivity is going to be a little bit of a, I was going to say a bottleneck. So make sure you're, you're running on a really good Wi-Fi and you should be able to do this very nicely. Uh, you can open up pictures on your phone, share pictures, open up videos and so on. Although I will say, um, I don't think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Netflix and certain uh, service, uh, um, well, Netflix and certain streaming services don't allow to work wirelessly. So it says that basically you're running to a separate display and it doesn't work there. The best way to do that is to use the built-in uh, screen sharing functionality to share that experience on the TV. Or if your TV is a smart TV, like the Samsung one that I have, you could just run Netflix there. But overall, experience is pretty much straightforward. You can open up DeX and Ready4, and you can also use uh, the wireless connectivity option. So you're definitely working great, and you can also mirror your display. Um, playing games with that also will depend on how quickly or how fast your Wi-Fi connectivity is. But as you can see right now, I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile on the Edge Plus 2022. And it was actually pretty reasonable. I was able to enjoy the play on this because it was a much bigger display and I used my phone as a controller. So uh, very nice, very simple. Again, both of them offer us a great experience uh, when it comes to basically connecting to a bigger display like a TV. Now we're going to talk about connectivity to our PC or what we've seen in the past called DeX on PC or Ready for PC. Uh, now, both of them offer us very much, again, and it sounds like I'm repeating myself, that they offer us a very similar experience, but this is where the a uh, little bit of an, um, I'm going to say an edge uh, to the Ready4 system. Ready4 supports both wired and wireless solution when it comes down to transferring content from your phone to your PC. So if you have Ready4 installed, you're able to connect over Wi-Fi or over a standard USB-C cable to your PC. DeX runs the exact same way with the exception of a wireless solution to the PC. It has to be hardwired in and that's pretty much the only experience. The moment you plug it in, the DeX on PC automatically recognizes the UI and it takes you straight into the desktop. Everything that we've seen before on the DeX UI is pretty much accessible and functional. The difference here is just, it's a windowed experience on your Windows PC. So think of it as a, just another app running in the background on your PC and you're able to open it and access files. So you can transfer files onto your phone, access files from the phone, transfer them to your PC, vice versa. Uh, of course, you'll be able to also use the webcam from both either the Ready4 or Dex to be able to make phone calls like let's say Duo or so on. So it, it actually becomes a very functional system experience here that we get. Uh, one of the other options that I like about this is, again, because we have a wireless solution, I don't actually have to take the phone and plug it into the PC. So if I'm on the same Wi-Fi, both the phone and the laptop, this becomes a very functional system for us. The phone can sit in my pocket or even put it on the desk, getting it charged, and I'm able to use most of the functionality on the PC. Now, where it's a little bit different on, again, with Ready4 than what we see with DeX, DeX takes you straight into DeX, right? And you have to figure out that you can technically drag things into that window and drag things out of that window on your own. 
Ready4 does have a few options available. One of them obviously is the ability of connecting it as a desktop experience. So that's standard, what we've seen before. The second option is to be able to use it as a webcam. So you can actually use the potential or the full-fledged uh, cameras on this device as webcams. And you also have a smart UI element, like a tracking option, the ability of flipping cameras back and forth, uh, a whole bunch of different things that you have to control and use this device as a webcam source. So that software is built in, no third-party applications installed, pretty much just using the Ready4 system. Um, and the last one, of course, is file transfer. As I explained, you can run this, transfer files from the phone to the phone. Now, although you can do that still in the desktop experience, this is intended mostly just for that. If you want to be able to transfer files off your phone directly into it. So it's kind of like an airdrop or uh, you know, nearby share, but it's specifically done to this device. Because it's wireless, it becomes more functional for us because we don't have to worry about having a wire with us and our PC is connected to it directly. Now, the last option I want to mention is, again, in the Ready4 is the ability of mirroring your display. If you want to do that, that's also something you could do. But at the end of the day, I like the fact that both Ready4 and Dex exist because they're offering us a very strong implementation of a desktop experience on a smartphone that we're buying around $1,000 plus, and we're not really fully utilizing all of the horsepower that we have in here. Now, I'm sure some of you guys will talk and say, okay, look, but we have Chromebook, we have Chrome OS, we have, uh, you know, we're getting Windows on ARM. There's a whole bunch of solutions. All of those are great options if you're looking to buy an entire ecosystem or an entire new system to run that functionality. What I'm offering you and what we're talking about today is getting a device, let's say like the Edge Plus or the S22 Ultra and using them to the full potential. Because if you're comfortable using a Chrome OS, you're going to be comfortable using a device like this. All your Android applications are in there, your data connection is in there, be it Wi-Fi or 5G, even if you have ultra wideband. Um, you'll be able to use all your apps on the uh, Ready4 and Dex, and there's really not much of a limitation. Aspect ratio will change between apps, but at the end of the day, what you're getting here is a more powerful system that lives in your pocket. And one thing to mention, which I didn't get a chance to mention to you guys at the beginning, although this one does have a battery, the battery is not intended just for the actual display. It actually charges your phone. So as you're using a next stock or something to do like this, this actually leaves your phone charged at the end of the experience. And as I mentioned, SD card support and a headphone jack. So definitely a much better experience. So in conclusion, which one is a better system? Is Dex truly better than Ready4 or is Ready4 actually a better system? Well, at the end of the day, it's going to depend on what system you have. If you have a Samsung device, obviously DeX is going to be the best solution. And if you have a OnePlus or other devices, right now we don't have options from them. So this is where Motorola is making a very big splash. Now, one thing I will say, Motorola is doing a bigger effort to try to make sure that this system is in front of you. And what I mean by this is if you plug your phone into the PC, first thing is you'll get the option is to see Ready4. Do you want to connect a Ready4 PC? Samsung right now, for the most part, doesn't really showcase it very much. Uh, both of them have the option of being connected to through the notification panel. There's a button for Ready4 on the Motorola and there's a button for the Samsung DeX on there. And I feel like Motorola did a better organizational option and of course, better UI elements. When you connect it to the TV, you know exactly what you want to do and you can pick the experience that you want. Samsung's pretty much just giving it and providing us the option to do in the way we want it. Uh, now, I will also say again, Samsung DeX does have a presence on tablets, which works a lot better. I feel like the if uh, the overall uh, you know ergonomics of a tablet gives us the ability of using that ecosystem um, as a UI element there. So you could definitely enjoy it there more. So at the end of the day, I'll probably say is it depends on what you have. So if you're using a Motorola device, make sure you check on the box and see if it says Ready4 compatible. And that's going to be one of your biggest indications there. Samsung series, again, S series and Note series both have these and they've had them for some time. And the Z Fold 3 has it as well as far as mobile devices. So at the end of the day, I don't think one of them is much better than the other. There are some options in there and there are some unique characteristics. And my hope essentially at the end of this video is that you found some options in here, either A, to start using DeX on your Samsung devices or B, to start using Ready4 on your Motorola devices. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.